Hello and welcome to all our listeners and viewers. This is Silas, your e-journalism social work advocate, producer and host of the award-winning Kelson on the Air Social Work Podcast, available wherever you get your podcast. Our podcast is rated internationally as one of the 40 best social work podcasts you must follow in 2023. This podcast promotes, celebrates, uplifts, and highlights the social work profession. Our aim is to educate the general public about the powerful impact social workers have on the lives of those they serve. The podcast will also amplify the vital contributions professional social workers make in every aspect of our society every day. Hey, it's Scary Jones, executive producer of Elvis Duran and the Morning Show on Z100. I want to talk to you all about my friend and fellow Brooklyn College alumnus, Silas, your e-journalist, social work advocate. Silas hosts and produces the award-winning Kelson on the Air social work podcast. My friend and fellow BCR alum is now known nationally and internationally as Silas, your e-journalist, social work advocate. His podcast is also listed as one of the top social work podcasts. You must follow the award-winning Kelson on the Air social work podcast. Hello to all my listeners. This is Silas, your e-journalism social work advocate. This election day special being brought to you by the Kelson on the Air social work podcast is dedicated to the memory of three voting rights champions. Those champions I refer to are the late Honorable Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. The Voting Rights Act was Mm -hmm. renewed by overwhelming majorities on both sides of the aisle. But the current Congress is is not equipped really to do anything. Someday we will go back to having the kind of legislature that we should, where members, whatever party they belong to, want to make the thing work and cooperate with with each other to see that that will happen. I mean, it was that way in 1993 when when I was nominated for this good job. There were only three negative votes. My hope and expectation is that we will get back to that kind of bipartisan spirit. The late Honorable Representative John Lewis. In a democracy, the right to vote is the most powerful non-violent tool we have. Many people march and protested for the right to vote. Some gave a little blood and others lost their lives. Some of you have heard me say that the right to vote is precious, almost sacred. In my hearts of hearts, I believe that we should make it simple and convenient for all of our citizens to be part of the democratic process. It should not matter whether you're black or white, Latino, Asian American, or Native American. We should be able to participate in the democratic process. On March 7, 1965, I gave a little blood on the Edmund Pettus Bridge for the right to vote. Before the Voting Rights Act of 1965 was passed, some people had to count the number of bubbles in a bar of soap, the number of jelly beans in a jar. And all across America today, when people go out to attempt to vote, they stand in long, immovable lines. That's not right, it's not fair, and it's not just. We can do better and we must do better. We have a moral obligation, a mission, and a mandate to empower all of the American people, not just a select few. We must do what is right, what is fair, and what is just. Today our democracy is under attack by forces within and forces abroad. We need to fix it and fix it now. And the late Honorable Representative Elijah Cummings. On my mother's dying bed at 92 years old, former sharecropper, her last words were, do not let them take our votes away from us. They had fought, she had fought and seen people harmed, beaten, trying to vote talk about inalienable rights. 
Voting is crucial. And I don't give a damn how you look at it. There are efforts to stop people from voting. That's not right. Because it is the essence of our democracy. This is the United States of America. Once again, this is Silas, your e-journalism social work advocate, producer, and host of the show. You've been listening to the award-winning Kelson on the Air social work podcast. This and all other episodes are available on our Apple, Spotify, Google, Amazon Music, Audible, and iHeart audio podcast platforms, among others. The podcast is also available on our Spotify and YouTube video podcast platforms. Go to any search engine and type in Kelson on the Air in the search window to hear this show in its entirety. Please make sure to click subscribe to support our podcast. And don't forget to like, comment, download, and share. To reach us for more information, email us at info at kelson.org. That's info at kelson.org. Or, to suggest future topics, log in to www.kelson.org. That's www.kelson.org and fill out the Share a Topic form on our homepage. Thank you for tuning in. This has been a Kelson Communications production.